Welcome back for another episode of Test Technique brought to you by DAU. Today we are going to answer the question, what is a test and evaluation master plan? We'll cover who writes the temp and how it is used. Let's get started. Essentially, the temp is a document that describes the overall structure and objectives of the test and evaluation program for a system. It articulates the necessary resources to accomplish each phase of testing in accordance with DOD Instruction 5089. It provides a framework within which to generate detailed T&E plans and document schedule and resource implications associated with the T&E program. It also serves as the overarching document for managing the T&E program. The TIMP identifies the necessary developmental, operational, and live fire test and evaluation activities. It relates program schedule, test management strategy and structure, along with the required resources to key performance parameters, key system attributes, critical operational issues, or COIs, and critical technical parameters. The TIMP includes an evaluation framework that shows the correlation or mapping between decisions, capabilities to be evaluated, measures to be used to quantify the capabilities, and test and modeling and simulation events. The TIMP includes objectives and thresholds documented in the Capability Development Document, or CDD, evaluation criteria, and milestone decision points. For multi-service or joint programs, a single integrated TIMP is required. Component unique content requirements, particularly evaluation criteria associated with COIs, can be addressed in a component prepared annex to the baseline temp. Program management offices develop the temp and subsequent updates to document the following. Roles and responsibilities, including the chief developmental tester and lead developmental test organization. Certification requirements necessary for the conduct of T&E. An event driven T&E schedule. The T&E strategy aligned with and supporting the approved acquisition strategy to provide early identification of design and integration issues and adequate risk-reducing T&E information to support decisions. The integration of developmental and operational tests into an efficient test continuum, required T&E resources, strategies to efficiently identify technology and functionality limitations and capabilities of alternative concepts to support early cost-performance trade-off decisions adequate measures to support the program's reliability growth plan. The modeling and simulation approach and where it is used in the test events, including the resources required and the methodology for their verification, validation, and accreditation. An approach that stresses the system under test to at least the normal operating limits and possibly beyond in order to ensure the robustness of the design. The plan for demonstrating the maturity of the production process through production qualification testing of low rate initial production assets prior to full rate production. The approach for demonstrating performance against realistic threats and their countermeasures as identified by the Defense Intelligence Agency or Component Intelligence Agency. And finally, the cybersecurity test and evaluation approach. The test and evaluation master plan serves as an executive summary and provides a developmental and operational evaluation framework to identify key data that will contribute to assessing the system's progress towards achieving requirements. It is also used as a guide when developing detailed t &E plans and documents. The program manager will use the TEMP as the primary planning and management tool for all test activities. Test organizations, on the other hand, use the TEMP as a source document to better understand what information is required by the program manager and decision maker. Test plans are written to define how to collect data needed to support the evaluations and decisions described in the TEMP. In a very general sense, the TEMP documents what information is needed by the program office and the test plan documents how that information will be collected by the test organization. Forming an effective T&E strategy requires careful analysis to determine the appropriate scope and depth of evaluations to be completed. The approach is to plan for the evaluation before testing, execute the test program, and conduct the evaluation as test data become available. This creates an environment where the evaluation guides the formulation of test objectives, configurations, conditions, data requirements, and analysis to develop information in support of the decision-making process. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to click that like button below and don't forget to subscribe for more great content from DAU. If you would like a follow-up to this video, let us know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching 